Hi folks, I'm Hector Garcia, and I'm going to show you how to create a free QuickBooks Online account, no credit card required. Now, before we get started, I'm going to give you two caveats. Caveat number one, this video is only for U.S. audiences. If you're not inside of the United States, nothing in this video is relevant to you. I do not work outside of the United States. I do not know how any of these things work outside of the United States. So if you're not in the US, sorry, this video will probably be one big waste of time. Caveat number two, QuickBooks Online is not free. It will never be free. It never has been free. I'm going to show you how to create free accounts. And depending on the context of who you are, you're going to be paying different amounts depending on what you're doing in QuickBooks. You can be one, an accountant, a bookkeeper, a consultant that's going to be serving other paying customers of QuickBooks Online. And I'm going to show you how to create a free account for you so you can access QuickBooks and connect to your clients so you can serve them. If you're not an accountant, bookkeeper, or consultant, then you are probably a small business owner that wants to get started into QuickBooks. And I'm going to show you how to create a free account, no credit card required, that's going to be a free trial for 30 days and then after if you like it if you love it you can sign up and pay whatever it costs because there's different subscription levels and we'll discuss that as well let's jump right to it okay we're going to start with the first scenario that you are an accountant a bookkeeper a consultant and you need to create what's called a free pro advisor account so you can log into quickbooks and access your clients books now i'm going to put links to all of these things in the description below. That way you don't have to try to figure out through the video what link I am in or what page I am in. I will put that, put that check out the description for that. Now, I went to the pro, what's called the Pro Advisor website. And again, depending on when you watch this video, whether it's a month from now, a year from now, or whatever, this website might be slightly different. But what you're looking for is something called the QuickBooks Pro Advisor Program. That's what you're looking for. And then you're going to look for something that says sign up for free. So something somewhere in this website, there should be a sign up for free for the QuickBooks Pro Advisor program. The next page tells you, hey, you got to put your email address, your name, your preferably a, a cell phone number so you can get text messages for the um, authentication and a password. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting my credentials here. And I want to add something. If you put your email address and it says this user ID, it's already taken. That means that you have already interacted with QuickBooks with Intuit in some other capacity. You created a free account, a paying account. It doesn't matter. That means that that email that you're using, it's already in the QuickBooks database. So you're not, and if you know that username and password, you can sign in. If you don't know it, just click on recover your account and follow the prompts. You're going to put your email address again. You're going to get an email. They're going to give you a code. You're going to verify who you are and you're going to log in using an existing login so you don't have to create a brand new login. Let's say that wasn't the case for you. Let's say you clicked on sign up for free and you didn't get any of these errors. So I'm going to continue and move forward. And then I'll click on continue. The next question is going to say, what is your accounting firm name? Remember, this is the step where if you are an accountant, a consultant, a bookkeeper, you're supposed to have a firm and set up the account. If you don't have a firm name, just put your name. I'm going to call it Hector's Accounting Firm. That is okay. Even if it's not a real accounting firm, even if it's aspirational, even if it's going to be like that in the future, whatever it is, you can make it up. Of course, if you have a real business, a real consulting business, a real firm, you want to put that information in there because your customers will see that when you connect to their books and they're going to know who is the accountant or the accounting firm interacting with their books. So I'm going to click on finish. All right, beautiful. We are logged in as an accountant. And the way you know you're logged in as an accountant is because in the top right of the screen, you're going to see the little circle QuickBooks logo and the word accountant right next to it. I'm logged in as an accountant. My The context of how I will be interacting with QuickBooks will be as an accountant, as a bookkeeper, as a consultant. And that's what we just did. No credit card required. It will never ask you for a credit card. Now, where, where the paying, paying part, where you pay for the accounts, that's when you add your customers. Now, if you already have a 
customer that pays for QuickBooks on their own, they're going to invite you to log in into their QuickBooks as an accountant. And you have to have an existing QuickBooks accountant or pro advisor account for you to be able to see that customer in that list. Now, if you don't have a paying customer already and you're going to bring a new small business customer into the QuickBooks online world, you can add the client straight from here and then you can choose if you're gonna pay for that company file or if your customer is gonna pay for that company file. Either way, your accountant access, your consultant bookkeeper access is free and for, for the time being, seems like it's always going to be free, which makes sense. So I'm gonna click on new. So I'm gonna click here where it says add client in the top right of the screen. And this is where I can add a new account. Again, if your customer, if your client already has a paying account, they're gonna invite you. You're gonna accept the invitation. You don't have to do any of this. This is where I'm gonna add a new client into this. So I'm gonna add a new client called uh, Garcia Foods Corp. Okay, let's say this is a, a new client of mine, a food truck, whatever it is. I'm gonna put uh, my client's email here. That way my client gets an email saying, hey, we have a QuickBooks Online account uh, set up. You're gonna put uh, your client's uh, mobile phone number, whatever it is, you're gonna put that number in there. And then this is where you choose what type of uh, payment structure you would like to have. Do you want to give your customer a direct discount? Basically, discounts 30% off QuickBooks for the first 12 months. You create the account, your customer needs to log in and put their credit card number. You're not gonna pay for that, your customer is gonna pay for that. If you click on Pro Advisor Discount, that's where you, the accountant, the consultant, you get a 30% discount for life of the account, but you, the accountant, the consultant, will be paying for QuickBooks out of your pocket. So we're assuming that your monthly services, whatever it happens to be, that you charge your client monthly, annually, quarterly, uh, should be enough to cover these costs. You have to think about these as sort of the cost of doing business. And then there's this really cool one called uh, Revenue Share. And it's a little bit of a sign up process that you have to get through to be able to do it. But Revenue Share allows your customer to pay for the QuickBooks Online account. They will pay full price. They're not going to get that 30% discount for 12 months, but you get a kickback. You get a commission for bringing a paying customer into uh, QuickBooks. So you get to choose from the three options here, uh, Pro Advisor, Direct Discount, and Revenue Share. Now, just to follow through with the process here, I'm gonna click on direct discount where I'm saying that my customer is gonna pay for the QuickBooks online account. Now, you're gonna be given uh, four options, right? four different versions of QuickBooks online to choose from. There's gonna be Simple Start, Essentials, Plus, and Advanced. I have an entirely different video. I'll put it up uh, in the description. I'll put it up here in the cards somewhere in the top, a little pop-up. Uh, you can uh, click on that, you can see a different video. It's like 20 minutes long where I go over feature by feature so you can choose or suggest or recommend which version of QuickBooks, whether it's Simple Start, Essentials, Plus, or Advanced, okay? Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna pick Advanced, which is the highest, best version of QuickBooks Online, which currently, as of the date of this video, is 200 bucks a month. So you're seeing here 140, because that's a 30% that's a discount for, uh, for uh, the first uh, 12 months to your client. Then you can choose whether or not you wanna add any of the payroll add-ons, which vary between 45 and $125 a month, again, as of the date of this video, plus an additional per employee charge. You can also pass down first year discounts to your clients as you do that. So you choose whether or not you're gonna add some sort of payroll subscription, and then you get to see the total of exactly how much you're gonna be paying for the first or your customer's gonna be paying for the first 12 months for QuickBooks. Again, you as the accountant, especially under direct discount, you're gonna pass on this cost to the customer. The customer will pay QuickBooks directly. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and continue the process of creating the account. It's gonna say, hey, you have a new client. I haven't put a credit card in yet. I haven't paid anything. I'm the accountant. I will never pay anything. And there it is, Garcia Food Corp. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on it so we can log in into the QuickBooks Online account for a second so you can, you can see. And I'll be able to log in immediately. Again, I have not put a credit card number yet. I can continue with you know, you know, the setup process. So I'm just gonna answer some of these questions quickly. And the QuickBooks account, online account is created. Now, 
when I add my customer uh, as a user, so I'm gonna click here where it says, uh, in, in the settings, a little icon, then I'm gonna click on manage users. Now I'm gonna add my customer as a user so my customer can log in and start paying for the account. So I'm gonna go to add user, company admin. I will move forward, uh, put my customer's email, a phone number, you go through the whole authentication process and then your customer gets an invite, they can log in, they can collaborate with you and then they can put the credit card number to start paying for that account. Or you can click on the settings button, click on account and settings and we can go uh, to the left where it says billing and subscription and then your customer with your customer's credit card because we picked for the customer to pay, they, you, they will click on subscribe and then put all the payment information in there and start paying uh, either monthly or annually. There's also an option for annually and, and then they will have a uh, paying subscription. Again, as the accountant, as a bookkeeper, as a consultant, you will not be paying for this if you choose to pass on the cost of QuickBooks to your clients. So that's how you create a free account. Again, we have not uh, entered a credit card as of this point, and that's the perspective of uh, an accountant, a, a bookkeeper uh, doing that. Now I'm gonna switch over to the other side, which is when I'm a small business owner, and I will be creating a free account as a small business owner. Let's go to that. Now we're in a different landing page. Again, I'm gonna put the link of this landing page in the description. And in this landing page, you should have a big button that says uh, try for free or create new account or something like that. And again, if you use the link that I'm gonna put in the description, you will not, uh, it will not require you to use a credit card to create the account. The account starts for free and it's a free 30 day trial. And if you're a small business owner that eventually sees the value of using QuickBooks, you will, after the 30 days, uh, put your credit card on and keep paying for it. If you're somebody just testing, playing with it, and you never have any intention of, of paying for QuickBooks, there's your free 30-day trial. So it's really up to you depending on the context of where you are. So again, I'm gonna put uh, this link in the description, and then you're gonna go here where it says try it free, and it should send you to a place where you get to choose which version of QuickBooks uh, online you wanna pick. Again, I have an entirely different video. I'll put it up here uh, in the a little uh, pop-ups that come up in YouTube. I will put that uh, a link so you can see a video where I explain in detail what each version of these have. Now, keep in mind, whatever prices you're seeing on the screen, just ignore them for now because when you watch this video, the prices could be different. I'm recording this bef you know, in the past. Uh, for anyone watching this video, I recorded this in the past. But uh, long story short, Simple Start will be about $30 a month and advance will be about $200 a month. And if you use, if you intend to pay after the free 30 days, if you use my link, you get uh, uh, 12 months of 30% off, right? So if you do intend to keep it or have the account beyond the 30 days, uh, definitely use the link in the description so you get that discount. And there's also an affiliate link. I get paid when paying customers sign up to it. That's how uh, my channel gets supported. Anyway, so the next step here would be to click on any of these, whichever version you wanna go with. Let's say you wanna go with Plus at $85 a month or whatever it is at the point that you uh, set up the account and then you create an Intuit account. Same thing applies if I enter um, an email that already has a, a working account or a, a uh, an Intuit account, it's gonna say, hey, uh, you can't create a new account. You're going to have to sign in using credentials you should already know or recover the account. But assuming you don't get that error, I'm going to move forward and create uh, the account without that error so we can see what the next screen looks like. And then I click on sign up with email. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is for U.S. accounts only. So you're going to put a U.S. cell phone. They're going to send you a text message to make sure you actually have a, a functional uh, U.S. account. And uh, once you put that code in there, it should uh, finish the login process. Then it's gonna ask you to go through the setup process. So I'm just gonna click on a couple of these. Business name, most important thing. I'm gonna call it uh, Hector's Hot Dog Stand, okay? And uh, LLC or whatever uh, the actual legal name it, it is. And then I'm gonna follow the prompts, answer all the questions, and then it's gonna get me to the next page.
And after I answer all the questions, it will take me to the next uh, page, to the, to the homepage, to the black homepage, where I have a brand new account, uh, no credit card required, free trial for uh, 30 days. This is what it, it should look like. Again, uh, depending on when you log into this and what those um, uh, pop up and initial questions look like, your screen might look exactly like this or um, a little bit different. Again, but it should be in essence the same thing. If you watch the first half of the video where we talked about the accountant access, notice that here in the top, it doesn't say accountant, it just says uh, QuickBooks. So that's the difference between logging in as an accountant and logging in as a small business owner. Right now I'm logged in as what would be a small business or a small business owner. This is not gonna be a tutorial on how to use QuickBooks. For that, I'll put a link up here in the top and also in the description. I have a full tutorial that's over an hour that actually walks you step-by-step step how to use uh, pretty much almost every feature inside QuickBooks. In this video, I'm limited to showing you how to create the account, free trial account, and again, you wanna use all the links that are in the description that will make it a lot quicker. Now, if you have an accountant, consultant, bookkeeper, pro advisor that will be collaborating with you while you're logged in into QuickBooks Online, you need to invite them into your books. The way you do that is you click on the gear menu on the top right, and then you're gonna click on where it says manage users. And then inside manage users, there should be something that says accountants or accounting firms. Up here it says accounting firms. Click on that, and then you're gonna come in the bottom and put your accountant's email, Hector at GarciaCPA.com, then click on invite, and now your accountant will now get an email saying, hey, um, Hector's hot dog stand wants to uh, you to collaborate with their QuickBooks. Your accountant having a free pro advisor accountant bookkeeper account will not pay, you will be paying, you're the small business owner, you will be paying, but your accountant will be able to collaborate, will be, be able to access your books, and will be able to log in and, and, and help you and work with you and collaborate with you in real time, even if you need be. Uh, for actually paying for the subscription afterwards, again, same thing, you click on the gear menu, click on account and settings, then on the left navigation bar, you're gonna go to billing and subscription. Notice that I have a free trial for 30 days. I have not put um, a credit card. I, I did this video on August 25, so I have until 925 in this particular case. And then when I'm ready to pay, I just click on subscribe or upgrade or downgrade if I didn't pick the right version of uh, QuickBooks. Again, if, if you are gonna do this, use my link so you get 30% off for 12 months. And if you have any issues with that discount, I'll put my email somewhere in this video. It should, be, should have been the entire video. Just email me and say, hey, I signed up to your link and I had some issue with your discount. I will connect you with someone at QuickBooks and help you uh, fix it. Anyway, I hope this video was useful, whether you're an accountant, setting up a pro advisor account to serve customers, or you're a small business owner looking for a free trial, free access to QuickBooks so you can get started. Uh, I hope this video was useful. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.